Welcome, 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 everyone. We are so thrilled and happy to have all of you here and our very special speaker today. This is Fernando Lopes. I like to call him the fall guy because he is a stuntman in the film industry. So he's always taken a fall. Well, maybe not always, but stunts. And he today is going to talk about conversations, language, how important that is and your success in your life and your business. Change your conversation, change your life. We think how you say what you say is so very important. So Fernando, welcome. We're so thrilled to have you back again and take it away. Uh, we muted. can't hear you right now, Fernando. Thank you, Peggy. <laughs> I was muted. <laughs> Thanks for reading my lips there, Cliff. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. I remember the first time when we had a conversation um, and me and your group, we created lots of uh, life purposes, right? Each person created their, their life purpose or they put words, they clarified their life purpose. Show of hands here, who could, uh, who has a life purpose that's written down somewhere? One, two, three. Okay, great. Awesome. Who has a feeling and intuition that they know what their life purpose is? One, two, three, four. Okay, more hands, seven. Great. So that's what we did that day. And I highly recommend, um, it was a workshop session. So I highly recommend going to the Nest Egg Builder YouTube and watching and then going through it. And if you're doing anything that is not... Uh, you know, being here present, um, I suggest that you make a decision to, are you going to be present here in this meeting today? Or are there things that you need to take care of and not be present and, and make a decision so that instead of going, you know, your attention going between things, you can be 100% focusing on one thing. And it's fine if you're not focusing on this conversation, it's okay. You know, it can go to, the information can go to your unconscious mind. And if you choose to be here 100% and participate, then that's great. Because we're going to be doing a lot of co-creation and creating. So Peggy invited me to come and share with you um, about changing your conversation and changing your life. And uh, in the last two years, I've been dedicating my life to assist business owners uh, and lately a lot of parents with young children to um, create more health in their lives by upgrading, updating their conversations. First, the inner dialogue, then the conversations they have with, with others. So I'm thinking for today here, since I feel like a lot of the people here are investors and I've been a real estate investor um, since 2004 and between 2010 and 2020, I didn't work because I had 20 houses and it produced enough income for me to just travel the world and live in 17 different countries um, and applying the four hour work week methodology. Uh, that's a book from Tim Ferriss. So um, if you like to be reminded, so I was going to say learn, but if you like to be reminded, because I feel like what I'm going to share today, a lot of it's reminding, is our reminders, things that we already know. Um, if you like, if you, let me see for a show of hands here, who is interested in this conversation of changing the conversation and changing life? Oh, I'm very interested. Okay, good. Awesome. Okay. So I say we do this as, as very similar to what I do with one-on-one -on -one clients um, is that we help you change the conversation by actually doing it. So instead of me talking about it, we're going to do it together. Um, so Peggy, how does that feel for your group that, you know, we, I can start working with say one-on-one -on -one here with someone who wants to experience what it is that I do with with individuals, so they can update their upgrade their conversation. Does that, does that feel good to you? Does that it's okay with me if somebody okay. wants to volunteer and if nobody awesome. wants to, cool. So who here me. who here wants to save about a thousand dollars right now and have a one on one with me? 
and we can do this right now. And uh, yeah, Deanne. Deanne, let's go. Okay. All right, Deanne, how's it going? It's good, going good. Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. okay, so one of the questions I use is, what do you want? What would you like to work on today if you, in the realm of health, wealth, or relationships? And then we're going to overlap that with quality of conversations. What's something that is uh, taking a lot of your attention lately or could deserve a lot of your attention so that you are happy with your progress? Um, let's do health. Health. Okay, great. So what's your, what's your health? Uh, what do you want? So yes, I just caught myself there. I keep catching myself <laughs> in the linguistic of things. Uh, and that's why I do the work I do to be reminded. I was going to ask, what's the current state of affairs in your health? And I was like, nope, we're going to go for uh -huh. what we want. No, don't answer that. Because oh, we're going to go for what you want. Okay. So what do you want in your health? I want to lose about 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And uh, why? I just want to get more fit and um, be healthier. Okay. So get more fit, be healthier. And what's your profession? What's your career? Currently, I am a chief administrator and real estate investor. Okay. And how is that going to affect you uh, career-wise as a real estate investor and a chief administrator when you lose 30 pounds? Um, I don't know that. It'll just give me, I'll probably have more energy. Okay. Have more energy. Have you ever had a, would you say that when you lose 30 pounds, will you have the best health you've ever had in your life? Or have you in the past have like a year or two where you felt, you know, those years I was the healthiest. Is it, so the healthiest years you feel like are ahead of you or you've already experienced? I feel like um, I've already experienced them, but I think that's mostly based on age. Okay. And what, what, what age was that? What, what age do I feel I was healthiest? Mm -hmm. I'd say 25. 25. Okay. Awesome. And you're now 27. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, yeah. So, um, write, write this down, everyone. So humor, bringing humor into conversation is one of the fastest ways to, Update, upgrade the conversations and update and upgrade your life. It's through humor, lightheartedness, especially if we're dealing with numbers, real estate investors and deals, and we are a real estate investor and raising money, buying property, selling properties. Can we include humor, lightheartedness, just like a grandpa or a grandma? Uh, who here has had a grandpa or a grandma that were that had a, a, a personality that was uh, lighthearted? Let me see a show of hands. One, two. Awesome. So we maybe uh, people that we've seen in movies, some uh, people that we've known personally, we can start thinking, you know, if I'm going to add humor to my life and who here thinks that humor, humor is important for health? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Um, awesome. So when you were 25, Deanne, you were your healthiest. Yes. Can you remember how you were breathing then? No, just normal. Good, good. Can you remember how you were standing? No, just, you know, just as usual. As usual. Okay, good, good, good. Now, um, so what I trying to 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 get if you were to play this game with me of remembering who you were since you already had this state called the healthiest in my life you've already experienced it so you you've had the experience of being the healthiest in your life if you were to play a game of recalling what it felt like what thoughts were you having what values did you have what was your inner dialogue 
Um, well, I used to work out regularly and I enjoyed it. I had fun. Um, you know, I, I subscribe to if you're not, um, you know, striving to get better every day then you're allowing yourself to get worse. You know, that's kind of the slogan they had at the gym and, you know, I was totally into it and I was, um, you know, the size I wanted to be and I could just walk in and just buy pretty much any clothes off the rack. And, you know, that was kind of where I was at that time. And if I were to ask you who you were being, who were you being then? And you can answer by, I was being dot, dot, dot. Who are you being then? Who was I being? I was being myself, who I thought to be. Mm -hmm. So I was being myself. Great. Awesome. What kind of person, if someone was watching you at 25, working out, going to uh, places where they're so close and buying anything off the rack, if they were watching you, who would they describe you as watching your actions and your behaviors? They would say that person is what? Is the type of person who what? What type of person has, is that? Has it all together. Mm. Has it all together. Now, do you think it's possible for you to bring back that belief that you had at 25, that you have it all together? I think so. You think so? Would you like that? I would. You would? Okay. All right. Um, so here's a shortcut that I offer is that you write this down, that I have it all together. Got it. And go ahead and read it out loud for me, please. I have it all together. And what emotions are present right now? Um, confidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, as a person who has it all together and who feels confidence, what will your schedule look like? for the rest of the day or tomorrow. Go ahead and look at your schedule if you have it. Is there anything there or not there? If it is there that matches with this, I have it all together way of being. Like are, is, are things on your calendar matching, vibrating at the frequency of confidence and I have it all together? And if not, could you put some things on your calendar that will prove to yourself that you have it all together and that you're confident? Okay. You want me to read what my schedule will be no, for tomorrow? No, just look at oh. it. Just look at it. Okay. Um, if, we, if, we, if we work in one-on-one, -on -one, we'll do that. But here in a public setting, no. Um, okay. So are there any things that might need to leave the calendar because they don't match this? I have it all together. I am confident way of being. Mm, no. Okay, good. Are there things that you could add to your calendar that you can then bring? Yeah, there are things I could add. Yes. Like what? Um, like going for a walk in the evening. Um, you know, doing some more things in the, in the evening when I finish my day, than just, you know, um, zoning out in front of the idiot box. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So what time would you schedule that for? Well, I don't know. I'm in, I'm out here with this weird weather that I'm not used to. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of been a hindrance for me. Um, but if uh, the sun does come out and this wind stops, um, I would schedule that for like 5.30. 5.30. Okay, great. And uh, for the days the weather is not so uh, good, could you do some, what would you do then? Um, I could work it. I could work out inside. I could do my YouTube video. Okay. So work out inside. So would you, would it help if you were to put this on your calendar as a recurring event? That it, yes, it would. Okay, so go ahead and do that, please. Got 
got it. And I'm just curious, what are you naming it? I just called it workout. Yeah. Now, when you read workout, what emotions are present? Um, none. None. Okay. Could you add a word or two there so that when you read the event, you go, mm, I have it all together. I feel confident. Um, okay. Um, you have a suggestion to for a word yeah. for that? Yeah. So I would suggest you put that because I have it all together, I'm going to work oh. out. Okay. Starting with why is very powerful, guys. Everyone here in Gauss. Starting any activity, why am I doing this? Get connected to the why and then do it. Okay. Because I have it all together, I am going to work out at 5.30 to my YouTube video. What emotions are present? Um, well, it... I have the desire to want to do it. The desire is there. Good. Desire is powerful. Cool. All right. Did you get some, some value out of this? I did. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. All right. Who would like to work next? Uh, Peggy. Now, I, I like to give uh, make a couple comments, if that's all right. Go ahead, uh, Ms. Peggy. One is, so language, change your language, change your life. Uh, I noticed that People find things they lose. They're always looking for things they lose. So we like to call it release. So if you want to release some weight, you won't have to worry about it coming back because you won't go looking for something you lost. That, that. yeah. That, yeah. and um, there's just a one word that I have found really makes a difference in language. And that is the word changing the word, but to and because when somebody says but that just completed a full sentence and everybody's looking for the negative to come whereas if you say and it's all inclusive and that's a huge change in any conversation absolutely I did, I did this also because I thought this was really cool the uh, confidence the humor is important and I have it all together and I, it was really funny because Deanne's like confidence. I went, oh yeah, that's what I said, confidence. And the workout, because I have not been working out because of this broken wrist, but I started working out again today and said, I'm working out because I'm going on a cruise in a couple of weeks and I'm going to look good in my formal for that formal dinner. Mm, yeah. Going Sometimes we just need an excuse to make ourselves go do something. I just do not like to exercise whatsoever. I just don't. So got it. Got it. Yeah. Want to make it fun. Yes. Make it fun for sure. Um, so here's, uh, and thanks for that, Peggy, for the, so the end one more thing here then for you, uh, is to go for, uh, instead of going for losing pounds, go for getting fit with, Truth mm. pants. Truth I'm sorry, my, dress. I'm sorry, my phone rang, so I couldn't hear you. If you could start again when you started to ask me the question. Yeah. So this is more of a suggestion for you uh, that are inspired by what Peggy just shared is for you, Deanne, to instead of okay. going for want to lose 30 pounds, you go for getting to, for getting fit, for getting fit and in. A uh, pants of truth, the dress of truth, or the the shirt of truth. The truth pants, the truth dress, and the truth shirts. What that means is that you pick a uh, a pants that you want to fit in, and okay. instead of going for the the scale to see how much you weigh, because sometimes if you're working out, what weighs more, fat or muscle? Muscle. Okay, so lose 30 pounds will that mean what does that mean if you choose to have a pair of pants that you want to fit in and each once a, a week you try it on and then okay now it fits up to a, a, a certain point in my body and then another point it's getting higher and higher 
going for the pants or the clothing you want to fit in versus the weight. Okay. Yes. So I can go for, I can go for a size that I want to be. Yes. Like, I want to be a size eight, 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to be a size eight, 10 and, and, and release the, I want to lose 30 pounds and go for, it. I want to be a size eight or 10. Okay. Great. Awesome. Cool. All right. Next. Who's next? Who wants to do some work? What do you want? What are you working on? And uh, if you're working on raising money, buying a property, selling a property, what are you working on? Are you here? Even in this meeting, are you present? Are you taking the lessons from Deanne and applying to you like Peggy just did? And I promise I'll be nice. He's Cliff's always laughing. nice. Cliff's laughing. Uh, Deanne, how valuable, is, how valuable is this, Deanne? It was good. It was very good, especially the part to go for the size instead of the pounds and especially... Um, as Peggy said, release instead of lose, because when you lose, well, for me, I always seem to find. <laughs> there we so. go. Yeah, exactly. Scott's here. Hey, Scott. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, Peggy. Uh, hi. Why don't you go next? You always have a lot on your plate, way more than most people. Yes, we do. <laughs> so I just volunteered Scott. Scott. Here's our good. Oh, really? Okay, Scott, you want to do some work? <laughs> what are we doing? Um, you tell me what you want, what are you working on, what's important to you in your life right now in health, wealth, or relationships, and uh, I'll give you some suggestions. And we're talking um, about, yeah, change your language, change your life. So it's it's a fun well, you could take it seriously. And no, not here. We're not taking things seriously here. Yes. So make it a game. Change your conversation. Change your life. So let, just like yeah. that. So everybody says, I want to lose weight, but they always find it again. So just change it to release or change it to find. Maybe you just want to find something. Yeah. Well, when it comes to the weight loss, we look at it as a change in lifestyle. It's mm. not a diet or, or something like that. You have to totally change what you're doing, your eating habits, your exercise, all of that has to change. Um, you know, one of the things we were just talking about was communication, better communications with other people um, and understanding when, how to better understand when somebody doesn't interpret what you're saying. So how do you, how do you, how do you express yourself so that, what you're saying comes across appropriately or properly to the other person without you getting frustrated and without them getting frustrated. Yep. That's fantastic. Yep. Yep. So Scott, is there something you want to work on today or should we give the floor to someone else? Oh, well, um, the communication. Yeah. Communication. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, what do you want in communication? Well, it's basically what I just said. How do you, how do you see, how do you express yourself? <laughs> how do you express yourself appropriately to others when you're having a conversation or um, speaking so that you're, you're interpreted better and they're understanding you better without getting frustrated from either side or mis misunderstanding from either side? Yeah. Okay, cool. So how about we start with then the, the question going, how do you to how do I, how do I express myself? So can you repeat the question now using the word I? Okay. How do I express myself appropriately so that I'm not frustrating others when speaking to them and I'm not getting frustrated so that myself and the other people are understanding each other? Awesome. And have you ever had conversations with people where they, what's the, the opposite of frustration? You're saying, so I'm not frustrating others. So if you're not frustrating others, what are you doing? Um, I guess it's uh, not communicating properly. 
not um, how do you call it? educating or informing or speaking to them appropriately. Okay. About what it is I'm talking about. Right. So then we're going to create an empowering question. So how do I express myself appropriately, appropriately so that others understand my communication? So instead of you, you told me that, so I'm not frustrating others. So I'm not communicating or I was not communicating properly. We're going to turn this question into a positive language question. And the question, the quality of the question will give the quality of the answer. And sometimes one does not even need the answer. The question itself transforms the being, right. the being of the person. Right. So, got it. So Let's instead of question. how can I communicate more appropriately, so there's better communication between me and the other party. Mm, I love it. Awesome. There is great work. Great work, Scott. Now, we're going to uh, go one step higher. We're going to move away from how, and we're going to go with who. Mm. Sure. Who? Who? Do I need to be? Who do I want to be so that I communicate more appropriately? Dot, dot, dot. Who? Right. So give me an empowering positive language question. Who do I need to be? Or who do I want to be? Or who must I be so that? I must be, I must be a better communicator and presenter when speaking with others. Yeah, I must be a better communicator and presenter. Awesome. So let's work on the f question first. What's the question? Mm -hmm. Well, it started out as how can I? <laughs> yeah. Now yes. it is. So try on the, instead of how. Right. Who? I can, what is the question? Who? I can Sorry. communicate better with others by I can communicate better with others by. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Who can I be? Who must I be so that I communicate better with others? Who must I be? Who must I be? So that I communicate. So that I can communicate better with others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who must I be so that I can communicate better with others? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you answer. I must be. What? Yeah, that's, I must be a, that's not the word I'm looking for, not coming to my head. <laughs> what? Okay, so when I, when you ask yourself, who must, must I be so, I, so that I communicate better with others, what emotions are present? What comes up for you? As what far comes as up for me is like, feelings. it's being a better leader, but also uh, someone who pays attention to body language from other people. Being a better leader pays attention to body language. Right. So as I'm speaking, I can see people's facial expressions and their body motions to understand that they're either grasping what I'm saying or they lost interest. They're not focused. Mm -hmm. Okay. So being a better leader pays attention to body language. Now, may I suggest that you go for what you want uh, as in, in one word is it. So if I add the word better, it's great. So I can be a better leader. Or what if you were a leader? I can be a leader who pays attention to body language. Right. Gotcha. The leader. Instead of better, just get rid yeah. of that. Right. So I'm a better leader who speaks more clearly and pays attention to body language. A, yeah. And make it shorter. So instead of the better, you're just going for what it is. It's a leader. I am a leader who pays attention to body language. Right. I am a leader who pays attention to body language. Yeah. How's that cool. feel? Yeah. Better. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I am a leader who pays attention to body language. So write that down. Can you write that somewhere? Let's see where I got my paper. Yeah. Right here. Write it down. I am a leader who pays attention to body language. Got it. Yeah? Yep. Cool. Cool. Does that help? Yes, definitely. Awesome. Yay. So I have a question. <laughs> That's all right, Fernando. Yeah, Miss Peggy. I would like to know if anybody else wrote down a statement and if they're willing to read it. Because I think that was, I think that a lot of times communication is, we call it already listening. We know what they're going to say. So we don't actually hear what they say because we, we think we know so much. Does that make sense? Like when you're talking to somebody in your family, you know how that person is. And so every time they say something, somebody brought this up today on another meeting. They're like, oh, my family always says this about me. Oh, it's just them. It's them and her kids. That's just the way they are. Like they say that right to their face. Like we're not really going to pay attention to you. We don't, we're not supporting you. Like that's, that's how you end up interpreting something like that from the way it's said because they don't actually listen to what is being said because they have they have this, they know how that person is. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm communicating. You are. Properly, Scott. <laughs> I, I think you are. And I see Peter here nodding his head. Do you want to work, Peter? Peter? Um, yeah, why not? Um, by the way, can you hear me properly? Yes. Hey, accent as as I said in the chat, I'm connected from Europe. Um, I, I wanted to connect anyway because I'm, um, yeah, I've, I've been missing the US a little bit, you know. So <laughs> anyway, awesome, welcome. Yeah, we're glad Thank you're you. here. Thank you. What would you, what would you like to work on today? Um, let's say work working work I mean <laughs> I mean meaning career and stuff um even though should I say more location um um I maybe I should explain that uh, in the last years here in Europe I've been working a little bit in Italy a little bit in Spain a little bit in the UK so even though it's, it's still Europe it can be a bit quite diverse you know different languages different you know um yeah sorry i'm being a bit shy but <laughs> good <laughs> shy is good shy is good but i called you out so it, i just saw you shaking your head i'm like okay i'm reading the body language here inspired yeah. by scott so i'm like looking at the body language so you're you're perfect i i already love you for okay. accepting to work <laughs> it's okay thank you thank you Ray. So work. So um, is it then you? Are you traveling to these different areas then? Um, hmm, not or no. really. Okay. Not really. Yeah. So what do, what do you want to to have your work life be be like? Let's let's say that the moment I'm working, um, going to a, to a city where I feel more like settling down uh, because um just just to give a few details the last with the last company i work for uh, i've been working in software for software company um sorry maybe my video froze uh, for instance the last company i worked for in a stable way was in turin like northwest italy uh, close to milan the previous company was in barcelona spain um so, so Pierre, uh, we can work on, so check this out. You can tell me a story of the current state of affairs, which is okay. great for, for the sake of story. And we can also go straight into the future created. Yep. And by you having a, a new picture of the future, it will change who you are in the present. 
you would change. Yeah, sure. So what's the future? What the what is the future that you want? The future is uh, let's say a city where I feel like settling down, where I feel stable, uh, which. You, I'm, probably I'm working on this. I'm not totally sure which this city is. I'm not. I'm, I'm yet not sure if it may be Italy, but back in Barcelona or back in London, where it was in the UK. You know. So this is where I'm working on. You know. well, one more time, please, because I saw some chat going going here, and it yeah. kind of, uh, someone asking about. The question, being offended by the question, I, I was like, okay, I didn't pay attention. Please go one more time. What is the future, yeah. the future that you like to see in the, in the next 12 months? No, sorry. Also, I'm, I'm, I need to try to be more br brief, you know, more. <laughs> Usually I talk a lot. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding which, uh, where should I go next? I mean, which city should be my next? Um, city to settle down, meaning, um, by the way, please tell me if the connection is decent because I, I can hear you, but. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, not... where should I go next to settle down? Okay. Exactly. Uh, does the question make sense? Because... Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah, so where should I go next to settle down? Okay. Um, have you ever settled down in a place where you liked that you feel like, you know, I want to have that experience again, or is this type of settling down, is it, is it is new? So have you ever had the feeling that you're going for? So this feeling of settling down in the city? Have you... I, I have, I have had it, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What age, um, uh, what, uh, what city was it? Yeah, yeah, I can make an example. Um, again, just to be brief, uh, for instance, the first time I moved uh, to London, 2009, so I was 27, yeah. Um, in that moment, uh, I felt like I, I could possibly settle down. I mean, I felt in a city where I was feeling okay, generally, you know, so motivated to, you know, to work, to get friends, get a girlfriend, yeah, everything, you know. Um, you got a girlfriend there in 2009? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Got it. Yes, that's it. That's the feeling. That, is it? Is it? Okay. That's the feeling, brother. Okay. okay. So you're motivated. What other feelings were present when you were in London, 2009, besides motivated? Uh, you know, feeling um, willing to to get to know the city uh, because I was new in the city, obviously. Uh, to get to know obviously the community. Uh, I'm passionate about music, so beyond work, I was also, you know, finding a band to to play with, mm. yeah. integrating the community. I would say, mm -hmm. just just to keep it short. Yeah. yeah, who here is 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 being is getting ideas from what Pierre is sharing? Let me see. Like you're listening to Pierre, and you're going like, I want some of that too. One, two, three. Okay. Um, this is beautiful. So. Uh, so you've had this already in 2009, and now you want to have it again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have a list of cities that you could, that you have an idea, a feeling that you want to settle down in? Yes. Yes. Okay. Which ones? Uh, I've got a few. Mm, I'm thinking of a um, few cities in Europe where I've felt kind of that way. So the one was London, as I said. Also in Barcelona, I kind of felt that. Um, well, because you guys are in the US, speaking on the US, uh, I did uh, three months in Los Angeles. Um, and even Los Angeles, I, I kind of had that feeling, maybe it was, so, it was as strong as Europe. Uh, yeah, but as you can see, I'm a little bit confused. I mean, I've got, I've got a few candidates, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you could say something like, in linguistic-wise, you can say, you know, in the past, I was not so sure. I might, might have been confused in the past, and now I'm okay. choosing to have more clarity. So okay. whenever uh, you're going to describe uh, a past experience, put it in the past, mm. and then add, and now I'm choosing to dot, dot, dot. So in the past, I was a little bit confused, and I'm choosing now to 
allow myself to be clear and be calm and confident. Hmm. Interesting. Words are spells. Words are spells. So make sure you put the spells where they belong, whether the spell is in the past, put in the past, whether it's in the present or in the future. Same when talking with others. Cast the spells that are beneficial for the, the person you're speaking with. And this is for everyone here. I'm taking notes because, in fact, I've been taking notes also from you know the other examples which I found interesting. You know? Yeah. So, so, yeah, one can just by taking a few more seconds to speak or think, formulate thoughts consciously, uh, the tool of using words, which let's say if you only had you were only a lot of 10 words a day. Do you think you would choose the, those 10 words wisely? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I would try at least. <laughs> I yeah. Try. I see some laughs. I see some smiles. Smiles are good. Smiles are good, people. <laughs> um, so you said London, Barcelona, Los Angeles. Which one would you like to settle in? Hmm. Good question. Um... And then, okay, let's let's let let's go back into. I skipped a step. I skipped a step, and the step I skipped is the identity. Mm. What type of person settles down in a new city, integrates in the community, finds a band, and finds a girlfriend? What type of person does that? Well, I would say uh, a person who generally who feels well in such a place. So. It, it, he or she feels uh, positive. Positive, generally. I mean, I don't know if I'm being too <laughs> basic here. But, oh, um, please! Basic is good. Simplicity is, is good. Simplicity okay. is amazing. Keep it simple. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. It sounds no, like yeah, a happy person to me. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. It's happy, and it's important that. Whatever label, word, label, code, word is is what you know. Happy to one person means may means uh, may have a value that's different to another. Just like in the 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 five love languages, um, or the men are from Mars, women are from Venus story that when the husband would bring chicken soup to the the wife or i think the wife bring it to the husband and the husband didn't feel love because he liked tomato soup and she would bring chicken soup right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um the person who feels positive what else um what type of person settles down in the city uh, integrates in the community, finds a band, finds a girlfriend. Okay. Uh, obviously, if he or she feels positive, it, it means there's something in that city that resonates with, with the person, you know. Um, like what? What kind, What value? Hmm. Ah, well, good question. So um, I, could, I could feed you some stuff and feel just for inspiration. So yep, yep. it could be friendliness, uh, it could be peace, harmony, fun, wealth, health, love. So what resonates in that city? That's someone who feels positive and wants to find a band, integrate the community. And, and by the way, I, I definitely understand the power of your question. Don't get me wrong. I was trying to get into words what I'm thinking at. Um, yeah, probably harmony, but because I said feeling well with the environment generally. So um, um, harmony, I guess. Also because if, again, generally speaking, if what well, or let's say uh, if I decide to move, because uh, uh, for instance now I'm in, in the home, my hometown in Italy, which is a small town in northeast Italy. So I mean, if I decide to move, eventually I'm not finding and the harmony where I am now. So that that's why I'm I'm moving. To where I think I will find the harmony. Um, okay, got it. Can I pause you for a second there? Yep. yep. Okay, good. So, uh, just for the sake of time, otherwise I'll let you. Of course. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you suffer a little bit, but I love you too much. I'm not going to let you suffer because you were telling me a story of what was what happened in the past. 
And we, okay. with words, we create stories. And if you were a lot of 10 words, you just spend the last 10 words describing I'm not in harmony. So do this for me. Um, I'd like for you to generate feeling happy right now. Can you feel happy right now? Um, yeah, yeah. Are you feeling happy right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now generate feeling sad. Um, well, so I need, I need to, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I need to, I need a thought of sadness to, to feel sad, sorry. Wait, yeah, uh, it, it, it of helps sadness. if you think of a time when you were sad in the past and then. Okay, and, yeah. Are you feeling sad right now? Uh, kind of, yeah. No, no. Okay. Now, I'd like for you to feel uh, positive. Okay. Generally positive. You feeling yeah. positive? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, I'd like for you to feel, uh, generate angry. Feel angry. Wow. wow. Um, okay. <laughs> now Are you feeling angry right now? I, I keep giggling because I'm, I'm enjoying the conversation. That's why, but okay, let's, let's try to, yeah. Um, just changing the thought in my head, so I'm trying to feel, trying to feel angry. Okay. Okay. Now feel harmonious. Mm. Harmonious. Okay. That that's easier. Um, Generate harmony. Okay. Are you feeling harmony right now? Yeah. I mean, I keep nodding, but yeah, <laughs> I, I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what I suggest you do is realize that you generate your emotions mm. regardless of the city you are in mm. okay you okay. generate your emotions Emotional. you generate it you get to choose in the past it may maybe you you know didn't have this training that you're having now that now you now you have you cannot unlearn what you just went through that you generated five emotions in like 10 seconds each, 20 seconds each. Yeah, true, true, very true. So you can start feeling harmonious now. And then from feeling harmony, you can then make plans and choose the city where you're going. Thank you. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need to exercise that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And I love the the giggling, man. The giggles are the best. Yeah. The giggles. No, it was are anyway, I was enjoying the conversation. Oh, that's, that's why you know. That's... Yeah, this is and this is you just created a new possibility for your future. That you can actually feel the feelings that you were uh, you were reserving for when you landed, got the girlfriend integrate in the community got in the band you get to generate them now yeah and then from those feelings uh you can then make the decisions of where to go makes sense yeah and so what kind of person chooses the their 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 feelings consciously what kind of person? What well, I would say, a wise person. I mean, generally, a... yeah, a wise person. Okay, so I, I like for you to write that down. I am a wise person. Can wow. we take a couple of minutes for questions, Fernando? Because we're on yeah. the top of the hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's got any, but I thought we would see if anybody does while P Piers figuring out his next answer. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um... Fernando, um, what you were saying there and, and what Pierre was asking, you know, I've, I've often struggled with myself um, in the last 25 years. I, I've lived in many different places uh, in the United States, and um, it, it seemed like that I wanted I want the same things that Pierre is searching for, uh, but haven't really known how to put that together. And I, I always felt like that my choice of where I live was based on what I wanted to do to fulfill someone else's need, not really mine in, in full. So mine was partially fulfilled, but not completely fulfilled. Um, and I think I kind of resonate with what Pierre is looking for also. He wants to, to find a place, I, I believe, 
that he connects with, that he feels like he fits in. And, and that's some, the same thing that I've uh, striven for. And uh, right now, I, I made a personal choice to live where I'm living now, which is in eastern Tennessee, very different than any other place I've ever lived in in my life. But it fulfills one checkbox out of many. Um, and I, I feel like the other checkboxes are not complete. Um, you want to do some work real quick? Two we, minutes? We, we can, uh, provided we have time. We All have right. four minutes. <laughs> All right, let's take this two minutes, Cliff, real Speed quick. Yes. All right. Fulfillment, Cl Cliff. Have you ever been fulfilled in your life? I have. What year? Give me a year. Um, 2009, which was a good year for me too, Pierre. I feel like we might have some commonalities here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What was happening then? Um, I had an incredible job. Um, everything was going very well in, in my career. Um, I had met uh, a woman who had become my wife. Um, I was over the moon for her and I had moved to a place which was just an incredible place to be. Uh, I was living on the water, um, overlooking Tampa Bay in, in uh, Central Florida. And everything just seemed to be going very well for me. Okay. Who are you being? Incredible job, met woman uh, that you love, living on water. Who are you being? I was being. Oh. <laughs> That's really tough, Fernando. It really is. Um, well, think back to what you were at that time. How did you feel? That's who you were being. Oh, I, I, I felt incredible. I mean, I, I felt on top of the world. My health was really good. I had a personal trainer. I was working out five days a week. Um, so my my health was phenomenal. Uh, my energy was incredible. Um, my relationships were phenomenal. Okay, so let's pause great. real quick for the sake of okay. time. So here's my suggestion for you. Um, start working out five days a week and get a personal trainer. All right. That did make a big difference. Okay. Will you do it? Yes. Okay. So get okay. your phone and do that right now. Incredible cliff. Yay. <laughs> We're going to call you incredible from now on. <laughs> incredible cliff. Right. And, and if I could just, um, you know, say something really quick, you know, just a couple of comments on, on what you did here. Um, I really liked uh, what you did earlier. And that was with uh, with Scott taking him from how can you to how can I and then who do I need to be? And then I am. So it, it, if I'm not mistaken, you're really taking him from uh, asking himself a question to making that into a power statement that he is he's building into a subconscious to grow and move into that position. Um, and, and that that's a powerful tool that I, I picked up on. Um, I really like, uh, you know, how you took in the past and then changed that to I experienced and then now I choose to. Um, I thought both of those were very powerful tools that I picked up on what you actually covered today. Um, and, and that was really good, Fernando. Thank you so much. It was a great, great, great experience today. Um, and I have an accountability person who says, who are you being when nobody's looking? And I have to think about that every day because sometimes I don't want to be around who that I'm being when nobody is looking, <laughs> uh, no. particularly when it involves tech. Uh, but Fidel really, is unmuted. That's, that's who we want. Who we want to be is... I mean, who I want to be, who I am being is open and joyful and having this community every week in my life. This gives me such great pleasure that you are all here. Uh, Fidel is uh, unmuted. Do you, do you want to say something, Fidel? No, I just, I just second what uh, uh, Peggy and Cliff uh, mentioned. I I did this uh, work a few months back and it's very, very powerful. Uh, very difficult to come up with, but once you start talking and things start coming back to your to your mind, to your brain, and, and it's amazing. What was my old question versus which is my new question? And uh, it's, it's really good, really good job. Yeah, if you guys Thank want to you for get a hold of, of, and if you want to get a hold of, uh, 
Fernando, just put your information in the chat and we will do an introduction for you. It's worth the conversation, won't you say, Pierre? <laughs> See now who he's being? Happy smile. Yeah, just Pierre talking. I mean, it, it made me think. And and Pierre, I, I appreciate you putting yourself out there and, and going through that with Fernando, because that, that helped me actually uncover some things in, in myself that I hadn't really thought about. So thank you. It's okay. It's great. Actually, well, thanks, Fernando, for guiding me, because I was starting quite, you know, a bit smoky, a bit, uh, so yeah, no. That's how we start. And thank you, Scott, for participating. And Deanne, thank you very much for participating and all of you for attending. And Fernando, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you very much. And, um, and we'd love to have you come back again. Yeah, totally. Um, I don't know if you got my email about the gift for your uh, viewers and your community. I did not have a chance to see it. So would you? Yeah, it's, it's four weeks of uh, uh, working with me for free. Oh my goodness sakes. Now that is a great Christmas gift. Yeah. And Christmas is 12, 11 months away. <laughs> it's not even 12 anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can can I put the information in the chat? Yes, please do. Put the information in the chat and everybody save the chat. Yeah. So it's uh, um, icreatefreedom.com, promo code nest egg. icreatefreedom.com, promo code nest egg. Nest Egg, iCreateFreedom.com, promo code Nest Egg for four free weeks working with me. Thank you. That's so nice of you, Fernando. Welcome. Next week, we have um, Benjamin Navi coming. And on Valentine's, he's going to talk to you about investing. Where is Nick? Nick, are you listening? We have a sponsor coming on that's going to talk about shopping centers. So you could learn more about commercial real estate and cash flow and building legacy. So thank you very much. And we will see you same time, same place next week. <laughs>